And back again. If you're on the tour, okay, so we know. About that. We about that. Pinky bounds off towards a building in front of us, leaving me and Twilight to try and catch up with her. As Pinky opens the front door of the building in front of us, we agree with a with hallways that stretch out to meet several classrooms. Way down the hall, way down the hall, I can see a stairwell leading to our floors, with stunts early sparsely population populating the paths. Look at the main school building. School building. Here is the cent here is the center of the knowledge in the whole school. You'll find teachers, books, notes, sometimes lockers and chalkboards. Those are really important to learning things. I guess. I don't think the chalkboards are that are the important part. Well of course they are silly. If you don't have them we don't have accessible accessible you wouldn't have accessible boards to take notes off, off of. I hate when they put it out because I'm not an English. I'm not a fluent English speak, talker, speecher, I was about to say. And off off sounds weird to me. They are a very important part of the curriculum. I don't think this girl knows exactly what she's talking about. She doesn't. Though I haven't heard, though I have heard that the school is looking for the fancy new screen board. Like you'll be able to write directly onto them and everything. Can you do that all already? Yeah, but with these new boards, everyone could you could see them at once. That's how it is already. I'm feeling weird. <laughs> Every you have been hearing, that's mostly a budget issue. Tell, seeing the school is trying to save up for some, not for them, for them. So chances are we won't be seeing them this year. But who knows? Maybe at class reunions we could. All certain and awe at how awesome this new stuff is. And that's right, I don't think I'll be attached enough to the school to care to go to a reunion. Still, to the class are something you're going to get used to seeing real fast. A school day is never done until you've seen them at least once. So this part of the tour will be a little shorter. But I know exactly what to show you next. It's a super duper amazing breathtaking eye pinky guarantee it. I think you guarantee it. And with that, she bounces off more than the whirlwind. whirlwind. That girl has a lot of energy in her, doesn't she? Yeah, Twilight, she's biting the nail of her thumb. A nervous habit of hers, I, says, I seem to have started doing as well lately. You okay? Uh, yeah. Oh, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Look of her. Look of. War, the look of war on her face quickly disappears, and she seems. Be back to her normal self. Come on, let's fall after her before she drags us by force. <laughs> I, I can't help but wonder if Twilight is really on board for this whole tour thing, but my mind can't seem to focus on any other thought than moving forward to catch that crazy pony. Oh, excuse me, that crazy girl. <laughs> we follow Pinky's bouncing to a door in the back of the building, stepping through or rather surprising side greet us, an impressive sized garden. Plants of all types sprout out from everywhere. I spot a couple students passing through the grove, enjoy it much like I am. The garden is split in a section. One section is dedicated to all types of flowers, one to the bushes, bushes, and one and other strawberries. That's how I can say it. There's even a section filled with vegetables growing neatly. Towards the back of the garden, I can see several small snacks, shacks, I mean, two looking like tool shed and the other looking like greenhouses. All in all, it's actually a rather incredible sight to behold. Now, one I was expecting for a school like this. Behold the school's garden. The school's garden it has every kind of plant you could ever think of to search. Look at or eat. I highly doubt it has every kind of plant. Well, that's well, that's true, I suppose. Super duper rare types of plants elude us. But we have most of the common types of plants from around the world, and we always import new ones every year to either add to it or replace old plants. Well, it all depends on how many students want to participate in agri agricultural studies. Well, the size of the garden must be a lot of students. Well, I hear that this year is less students than in, than the, in previous years, but that makes them no less important. There's even an agriculture club, though I hear that the students have dwelled from it as well. Yeah, that's weird. With such expensive and well-maintained garden, you would think it would be bigger to draw from the students. Like I said, like I said, 
has been the years before recently. Honestly, I see more, more people looking at their phones and video games than in books and walking around. That probably has something to do with it. I'm kind of to blame for that one. <laughs> for the phone thing. That's a shame. Maybe I'll join a club, taking care of plans sounds relaxing, and the organization could use a little work, perhaps organized by a gensu or species. What do you think, Tom? Don't ask me, I don't know anything about this stuff. <laughs> that's awesome. If you, that's awesome if you did. That would be awesome if you did. They could use help. You could use the help. So in a moment, Pinky's face lights up as she grabs our wrist again. Quick, get behind the brush! In a flash with an eye, found our vision filled with foliage. Yeah, Pink, what the hell? Shh, you scared the animals. As I tried to shake leaves out of my hair, Pinky pulled out a pair of binoculars. Animals were. Following Pinky's binoculars gaze, it's easy to see what she's looking at. In the distance, there appears to be a girl tending to some animals. The first thing I notice is a striking pink hair that reaches down to her waist. Whereas Pinky is darker and more vibrant, her hair looks soft. Her hair looks soft and looks like it's glowing into the sunlight. She's feeding some goats that are by the side of the main building as well as a few other small critters. I think even the squirrels, the squirrels, come by to have a bite to eat. What does a campus need with ghosts, though? The worst thing is we're seeing live animals on a school campus. So I can tell one thing for sure: those animals really seem to like her. Pinky, who's that? Her name is Fluttershy. She's in charge of making sure all the animals on campus are kept feed and healthy. Why do you guys have animals on campus? That's my question exactly. They're part of the agricultural agricultural club too, to a different section. There's a bunch of other animals in the shed back there. She seems happy with. Besides, she also has friends like me and Dashi to help her out if she ever needs. So it all works out. I see. Well, that's good. Yep, yep. I want to use you to personal one, but she's a little busy with animals for now, and they get skittishy around new people, so we'll save it for f later. Come on, there's more for us to see. Still. This time Piggy grabs our wrist and drags us off quickly. I think I'm starting to get used to it. As I look back, I notice that Flosher turns to watch us breathing away. Passing through the garden quickly, we emerge on the other side. Directly in front of us is a track of the track field. It seems rather busy though. And there's a lot of students already running laps around the course. That's good. It looks like it looks like they're warming up. Any question, you two? Question? I wasn't expecting that. I know she was just going to talk forever. So one thing is bothering me. Not well maybe. The balloon on your uniform. Does everyone have something like that? Oh I see it now. Oh, you haven't heard about it? She gets in a mock surprise. At least I think it's a mock surprise. Could be the real thing. Now that you mention, I think Derby has a pine too. Her nose scratches up while she tries to remember. She does that when a piece of information escapes her. It doesn't happen often. But I have to say, she looks kind of cute when she does it. It's a nice change from a normal demeanor. Oh, I guess this guy's gonna have something in the end with Twilight Spark. That's good. It's a club insignia. Is, is it a club insignia? You have a balloon soul. Party com committee? Pink laughs. Oh, no. Cool, this is my student flair. It's not as official as a student's club. She got really quiet when she said the last part. Is it really necessary to whisper about something that you can see as a plain, you can see as plain as they to her uniform? She's acting like talking about it's punishable by death. All right, her master Sosia mentioned it, mentioned it once. The symbol representing the person's personality or hobby. Bingo, that's right. Twice just be, twice just be me. She really does enjoy being right, even for something as trivial as this. Every year, the first year are, are presented with their own flair at the fall festival. It's given to them by upper class man who's gotten to know them the best. But you two are new, so we'll pretend you're the first year. So if you hang out with the school, so if you hang out with the school band, you'll probably end up with a tuba or something. It's usually it's usually pretty personal though. A tuba or something. That's funny. She points at her flair. I'm head of a cheerleader. I'm head cheerleader. But my flair has something to do with cheering. Has nothing to do with cheering. Well, unless I bring balloons. 
which I sometimes do. I sometimes do. Hmm, I need to buy more balloons. Just throw off into space. None of this is, none of this is in the handbook. I've read it six times. You're sorry to be Twilight. Why do I get a feeling she's understanding that number? Well, duh, it wouldn't be. Yeah, you said it wasn't official. Bingo! Part 2! Electric Bingalo! That's weird. What? <laughs> but it's part of the uniform. No, it's not so. It's entirely off the record. Real, hush hush. The school just doesn't do anything about it. It's been a tradition for a super long, long time. Hush hush. Is she for real? Didn't I just say that Celeste told her about it? I think the tradition is older than the school, actually. How is that even possible? What do the teachers do about it? But you just said that Celestia. Ah, now mind numbing. Mind numbing. Oh no. Ah, no one really minds. One time I even saw Miss Celestia compliment the students on theirs. I. So I'll begin. So I'll begin one too. Of course, everybody gets one. Yeah, I'll be a bookworm. So that looks like she just smells something gross. What? No, I don't want a worm on my uniform. She turns up like that, like there's an actual worm on her skirt. Oh, I wouldn't worry. As long as you get to know someone, you're bound to get something super awesome. Wait, so what happens if you don't end up getting to know someone who already has their fluff? Or, well, it doesn't happen often, but it does happen. Um, there were three blanks last year. A blank? I'm definitely going to get mine. She's determined. I think she's getting too worked up over this. I wanted her. I hope there's no... Do blanks get... Do blanks get threatened here? Seems like something that might cause teasing. Teasing. Threatened. Pinky looks a bit more subdued while we talk about it. I swear she deflates a little bit. Balloon indeed. Honestly, they're harder on themselves than anyone else's. There's always a few students who enjoy poking fun, but it's not but it's not any worse than anything else they could tease someone from for. There's also no rule saying that a blank can't just assign themselves flares. They would want to. Really? So I could decide what mine is right now? Well yeah, but what's special about that? What do you mean? Um it's interesting. The perk, the perk, her back up. She's all bubbly again. The flare is just a part of finding out who gives you your flares. Have the fun. She twisted the balloon on her uniform absentmindedly. Yeah, I guess alright. So, who gave you your flare? Pinky smile. It wasn't her goofy smile. It's like she remembered something bursty. It's strange. I used a different person all of a sudden. That's no good either. You can't just ask someone that. Flare sort of a flare sort of intimate. It's like showing how much you care about someone. I see. So flare can be a very personal thing. Hence why she didn't outright say who it was that gave her her flare. I guess. <laughs> exactly. So did the blanks end up choosing their flare own flares? No. The three from last year have been agonizing over finding their own special talent. They want to earn theirs from their classmates. The cutie mark crusaders. If it isn't Apple, if it is, if it isn't Apple Bloom, Scootaloo, and Sweetie Bo, then then I'm wrong. I don't know my ponies. The classmates, that's admirable. Hmm, they're really focused here. There's a goofy smile again. Pink relaxedness. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna take a break from here. <sighs> Thank you for watching.